The diagram shows a velocity time graph of a bus that is travelling in a straight line as it manoeuvres and then drives away. Its velocity, v metres per second at a time, is given by v is equal to 0.12 t cubed plus 0.6 t squared minus 3.5. A. At what time does the bus change direction? B. Using detailed reasoning, i.e. you cannot use your calculator function, calculate the total distance travelled in the first five seconds and find an expression for the acceleration in the car in terms of T. That, so the point that's important is this one here, because this is where the bus will change direction, because the velocity goes from being negative to positive. So that means a change of direction at that particular point. So, from the graph, the bus changes uh, direction when t is equal to 2. Right, now we need to find the total distance travelled. But the problem here is that the area between the curve and the x-axis gives me the distance. But the problem is here, this bit here, the red bit here is negative and this is positive. So we'll have to integrate separately from and add it to this one and ignore the minus sign and add it to this one. Now, you cannot use your uh, calculator function, integral function, you have to actually work out the integration. So I'm going to call that d1 and d2. Now, the absolute value of d1, because I know that's negative, is going to be the absolute value of the integral from 0 to 2 of 0 0.12 t cubed plus 0 0.6 t squared minus 3.5 dt which is the absolute value, integrating now, so it'll be t to the 4 divided, uh, 0 0.12 divided by 4 gives me 0 0.03. And then we got uh, t cubed, so 0 0.6 divided by uh, 3 gives me 0 0.2, and then minus 3.5t, and that's from 0 to 2. We expect the bit in the middle to come up to be negative, but we'll make it positive. So that will be 0 0.03 times 2 to the 4 plus 0 0.2 times 2 cubed minus 3.5 times t. Now, if we put 0 in it, all these, you should check this carefully first. We will get 0, so we're just going to take away 0. OK, and that will give me minus 4.92, uh, but we'll just take the positive value for the total distance d2 will be from 2 to 5 of the same integral, so integrating exactly the same, 0 0.03 to t to the 4, 0 0.2 t cubed, minus 3.5 t from 2 to 5 is going to be equal to 0 0.03 times 5 to the 4, minus 0, plus, sorry, uh, 0 0.25 cubed, minus 3.5 times 5, Minus this one here in the sign here, so minus, be careful with the minus signs, minus 4.92. If we work that out on a calculator, we're going to get 31.17. So this area here is 4.92, this area here is 31.17. And so in order to find the total distance travel, we need to add them together. So adding them together, so the absolute value of 4.92, or just write down 4.92, or the absolute value of minus 4.92 plus 31.17 will give me an answer 36.09, which is 36.1 metres to three significant figures. Uh, for the last part, we need to find the... So finding the acceleration, so we've got V is equal to 0 0.12 T cubed plus 0 0.6 T squared minus 3.5. A is the derivative of, uh, the acceleration is the derivative of the velocity. So dv by dt will be 3 times 0 0.12, which is 0 0.36 t squared, plus 2 times 0 0.6, which is 1.2 t. And that is it. That's the answer for part C. So this has been a video to show you how to find the distance travelled from a velocity time graph uh, and the acceleration using uh, vari variable acceleration methods. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.